Uh, we're gonna do another run of Nightmare on Elm Street for NES. I haven't played the game since what last year when we ran it a few times. Have it, never beat it, but it's a fun game. I may never beat this, but I just want to play another run of it tonight. See how far we can get. I gotta remember how to play and like what to do. I know you're like supposed to go in the houses, right? Collect the bones. There's like an order to doing certain things. How slippery this was too. This is a slippery slope. This game. I don't even know what that was. I just go around punching spiders. So far, a perfect start. But this is the easy part. Whoa. Yeah, this game's cool. I really like the NES horror games. Like, I think they do like a good job of like capturing the atmosphere, especially Ghoul School and Friday the Thirteenth. I think this game too, but not quite as much as his other ones. I think this game's more fun to play than Friday the Thirteenth, but I still like Friday the Thirteenth, even though that's definitely a game I'll never ever beat. Remember last year we played Ghoul School, that, I, I really can't speak highly enough about that game, that was so good. Yeah, it's a little cryptic at times, janky, but such a cool game. Die. Let's get the coffee. So far, not too bad. The Freddy fights are going to mess us up in some of the hard platforming parts. Remember, there's some parts that are like so hard, like you're going to get like killed no matter what. All right, this is our first Freddy fight, I believe. Turn into the javelin thrower. Makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? This is so hard to do. Almost got him. Come on, Freddy, you bastard. This is so annoying. Come on! There we go. Okay, we got the first key. Alright, that's the easy. Easy, that's just... You don't want to die during that. So we get a free guy. And then... These bats are probably the worst thing. So there's another house we have to go in. There's like a junkyard, then I think we go to like a broken down house or something. I'm trying to remember. I don't remember the order exactly, so we're gonna be running around. Damn these bats. There we go, there's the next house. Bones. Respawning enemy bullcrap too. Is this the house with the, like the graduation music? I can't wait. Do -do -do -do. It might be. I think it is actually. 
the music completely changes to sound like a high school graduation from this spooky wait for it <laughs> receiving their diploma this jump sucks oh shoot died oh my gosh oh, there's one up there who's this guy shirtless random guy I think I'm gonna go with just the regular fists I think it's easier Make these jumps. Okay. Do 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 do. Do I think people played this and were scared? Uh, maybe. I mean, when I was a youngster, a youngster. Um, I said we had some retro consoles in the house because I shouldn't say retro they weren't but we had some like older consoles in the house too because of my my brothers and stuff and some of my cousins had like older stuff too but I had like I remember playing Castlevania and that freaked me out But yeah, I mean, this probably scared somebody. I mean, like, especially when like Freddy shows up. Oh, yeah, there's a bone right here. Easy to miss. I've missed it before. Dude, the, I told you the bats are the worst, they're the worst thing in the game. They'll get me killed more than anything. Alright, here we go. This fight sucks. Because of these, like, little ball sacks that he throws at you. There we go. Yo! Okay, now I don't even know where to go. Look at that skill right there. It's not the school yet. School's the last place you go, right? Probably. And you, like, you must have to like burn all the bones at the end, just like the movie, I would assume. Is it the broken down house? No, it's not the junkyard yet, is it? Maybe there's another house I have to do still. Oh yeah, there's the cemetery too. Gosh, there's like so many levels. I think I'm doing the wrong thing here. Damn it, I did. I went all this way for nothing. Shoot. First game I remember being scared of was maybe Silent Hill or Resident Evil. I mean, yeah, that's a lot of people's first too. So I think Castlevania is probably the only one I remember like first being scared of any game. I mean, obviously Silent Hill 2, the first time I tried playing that game freaked me out. It still freaks me out, but... Like older games... Dun, dun, dun. 
Look at that. I'm able to punch the bat and keep flowing. So you can like speed run these parts if you get good with it. And that you can jump under those falling rocks when they fall. When the rocks split, you can jump up. There's the house. Silent Hill 2? Yeah, it was a few years ago. It was... Yeah, I can't remember how long ago it was. A full, full plate there. That was, I mean, that was my first time ever, like, playing through the whole game, so... It was really nice to, like, actually beat the game. Died again? Are you kidding me? Oh, come on. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm gonna struggle in the Silent Hill games. I always will. <laughs> so now the only ones I've never beaten are Silent Hill 3, Silent Hill 1, and Silent Hill 4. I don't have one or three. The game's starting to get hard now. This is where it like really ramps up. Can do that. Whew, look at that skill. No, don't freeze me in midair. I'm gonna end up falling down here and dying. Don't do that. Uh, see, I knew it. I told you I was gonna fall there. It like froze me in midair to do that stupid bullcrap. Ah, what a waste of a life that is. That's so cheap. Rocks. Ah, these bats. The bats are such the worst part of this game. Like they make everything so, like impossible. The way like their patterns are it just makes things. Like I said it just and they drop rocks and stuff. It's just they're the absolute worst. And then they just respawn after you kill them. Okay. The jumping spiders is fine. Look, look, that bat came down like a bat out of hell. It spikes there. See, I don't remember half these parts right now. Yo, just like. Oh my god. <laughs> hard. No, I fell down here. Gosh dang it. Such a waste of lives there. Preventable. Preventable. There we go. I feel like if I played... I mean, I've played a lot of Sound Hill 4. That definitely freaks me out. Jeez. What? Uh, that's good. It goes one of our continues. Oh my lord. What is this? Oh yeah, this, I think you want to stand here. Then hit him. Oh, never mind, that's not... It's a bad plan. Never mind, bad plan. Or maybe you just want to stand. Okay. There we go. This <laughs> is such a bad. These boss fights are terrible. Uh.
What? That killed me? Jeez. Get an extra life at least. Alright, now we think it's the junkyard. Or the broken down house. I don't remember how far we made it before. Probably, I don't think we ever got to the school, did we? Can't remember. Probably not. <laughs> you punk. Not this, is it now? So it'll probably be that after we do the junkyard, and then it might be the graveyard, then the school. Such a long way over here. So there's three houses, and then the junkyard. Yeah. This level is really hard. So I think this game's beatable. It's just, it's just gonna be so hard because there's so many like cheap deaths and stuff, and cheap parts where like you're gonna inevitably get hit. There's like nothing you can do about it. Right there, you gotta jump like that in the middle. Patience. Oh, they're gonna keep coming. Dude, freaking bat. That, I don't know how to get that bone without getting hit either. Like, I've never figured that out. Seems like you're gonna get hit no matter what there. Just, ah, uh, where are those guys coming from? Oh my gosh. Really? <laughs> this is like the hardest level. This jump, oh boy. It freezes in the middle of my jump again. Are you kidding me? Come on. I just left the ground. Uh. Keeps turning to like the dream state. There it goes again. This really screws me up. My timing's all off. Jeez. Such a bull bullshit. OG Resident Evil 4 scare you. Entering the village was terrifying. Oh, I bet. Like, so I think it's, it's one of those things I didn't grow up playing Resident Evils. So I, I, I realized the first one probably scared a lot of people back in the day. Freaking back, get out of here. Hate these bats. Okay. I don't have any other power ups. Oh, wait. I think we do... What? I already died? Just got hit once. We do the ninja again for this. Yeah. This one sucks too because there's little bats you have to worry about too. Am I 
again. Like all these hitboxes are just so weird. This one's so hard. I think at the end of this game too, is like a boss rush. So you have to do all these bosses that you've already fought back to back. And then you can beat Freddy or something. So I'd have to get there with like at least a continue or two to have any chance. If I even can make it that far. I might only have one more continue right now. Right now I think it's the broken down house. Or is it the... It's either that or the graveyard. Well the graveyard's on the way so we'll just stop there. The cemetery. It is the cemetery, okay. I remember this one being pretty hard too. Maybe not as bad as the junkyard, but there's some like crazy jumps here. So you need those bones down there. I don't think I can drop, can I? I can't drop below the platform. I hate these freaking flies. Now you're like stuck here until you fall asleep. Now you have to wait for the game to get you to change to the sleep time. Oh, these guys keep showing up. Because I need to be able to change to a different form. Damn it, these freaking flies, dude. So annoying. These are just cheap deaths. Because they're flying patterns. Come on, come on. They keep knocking me into the water. This is so dumb. Seriously. Okay, I need to learn this part because this is like a waste of lives again. Again, you can't move from this spot until like you fall asleep, so now you're just waiting until the game decides that it goes to the other realm. The nightmare realm. Cause you can't make this jump without like the monk power or whatever it is. You're gonna move the couch upstairs tomorrow. Oh, you're so, like what we were talking about last night. How you wanna enjoy your games again. Play this game. <laughs> Waiting to slowly fall asleep. You almost don't wanna get that coffee right there because it keeps you awake. Look how long this is. I guess this is the spot to stand here while you're waiting. Just keep punching. Ugh, this is so dumb. Of course it's gonna change right as the enemy's coming after me. Come on, Star June. What's up, man? Good to see you again, man. We're getting some OGs in here tonight. <laughs> Hope everything's good, man. Been pretty good. Been pretty good here. <sighs> see, that's what you need the monk for, right there, for that jump alone. Okay, what do I do here? Yo. Hmm. 
Yikes. I hope I didn't miss any bones. Hit him! Welcome back in, Starchy. Alright, that's the end of the bones. I'm just gonna beat the rest of the level. Not a bad first run because I haven't played this game in a year. Made it this far. Isn't it like a dragon boss, too? Did I ever beat the last zero? I mean, I didn't. I really didn't. I didn't even make it to, like, the final boss. Oh, shoot. What do I do here? Is it the kick again? Do I need the kick? Yeah. Definitely not going to beat it right now. <laughs> it's been a terrible run. Out of practice. But I feel like playing this again. Definitely wanted to play it. It's pretty fun. It's just it's a it's a challenging game. Like, I would like to beat it sometime, but I don't know if I ever will. I think I'm out of continues too, so this is it. This bastard's going like super f speed now. Give me that. Okay, now it's the broken down house. Which I'm pretty sure we've made it to before. And then it might be the school after this. Hydration from Star June. Let's have a sip from the, of course, the Wednesday Adams Jenna Ortega cup. This one's terrible because of all the dripping. Eleven bones to get here. Just be patient. Be patient. Freaking! I knew that bat was gonna kill me. I was stuck between the drip and the bat. And the bat flew down just to where it was going to hit me and knock me off. I cannot stand the bats. How many times have they got me killed already? Everything else has a nice pattern. Alright, that's it there chances down here with Frankenstein. No, see how that dragged me all the way over to the freaking gap? You get hit anywhere on these platforms and it just automatically sends you off to die. It's like Castlevania, like you just get pulled down, like gravitational pull. <laughs> Currently part time while well, full time student. Oh damn! Well, that's good. That's good though. That's tough. Having to pay for school too while you know going to school. We gotta work. Freaking can't imagine. One more bone. Get out of here. Right, we're down to our last uh, lives here. Pretty sure. Look at this. Where do I even go here? Dead. Mm. 
which is inevitably getting hit here too. Yep. Those these stupid bats. Uh, can't go anywhere. Game over. Oh, we had to continue left? That's surprising. I don't know if we can kill these guys. Okay, he died. I just started killing. Oh, here he comes. This is just like a random boss fight that pops up. It's not even like one of the main ones. It's like a an excuse for them to kill you more times. And he just fights as long as he feels like fighting here. Get out of here, Freddy. <laughs> In here, I wanted to chill and say hi again. Yeah, for sure, man. I know. We love having you in here. We miss the star, June. Mason met someone over summer who's now your girlfriend. Oh, really? Congratulations! That is that is great to hear. Star June's having a good a good year. It sounds like that's awesome, dude. Happy to hear that. Do do do. We've been playing a lot of stuff, I guess. I have a lot of PS5 stuff this year. I had a viewer earlier come in, Pedro, who was like one of the first two or three people that consistently watched me. I haven't seen him in like years, and he came in earlier, and it was so great to see him. And then Star June returns, and it's just like, what a great night. Oh shoot. And then there's Dalton and Dev. I don't need to say anything about that, do I? Anthony and Garrett are chilling in here as well. Alright. Grab. Been same old, same old, pretty much. Just working, streaming, enjoying life. Nothing too much to complain about, really. Oh, gosh. That was it. See, that's another death that's, like, just stupid. Like, it's got... It's preventable. But it's my own damn fault. I still think we're going to play another game tonight. I don't, oh gosh, one hit death, boom, just knocks me off. I have to go down there, don't I? Yep, two bones down there. It's not too bad if you take your time. Yeah, see, not too bad. We're gonna do one, maybe two other games on NES this Zero Wing 2, guys. At least one more, I know for sure. There's like another like attic part here. Man, this is a long level. 
I know we're on our last life here. I know that much. There's no way we have another continue. So, I just I don't know if there's a way to tell how many continues you have, or if there's a way to like earn more continues. I know like once you beat a boss, they give you the key, and you sometimes get like a free guy. So I don't understand everything about this game. Really, I gotta go up and around. Get out of here, Ben. Oh my gosh, get out of here, Ben. Oh my gosh. Oh, I just, I'm like panicking. That's the game over. Oh. All that way to just slip off the platform because it's freaking bats. Do you want to do another run? I feel like I should do one more run of it tonight here. During this, this session anyways. Because we might not play it again during Zeroween, so... I just wanted to give the game another try. There's just so many like BS deaths. That's I think the big thing with this game. Like unavoidable, like each run, there's gonna be like five or six just BS deaths that are just gonna cost you so much. Every life really is precious in this game because is how hard some of it is. Come on, flies. Okay. The longer we go without our first death, it's a, it's a good sign. Usually the deaths just start piling up, though. Once they, once they start, they don't stop. Get out. Oh, these bats are driving me crazy. Always putting yourself into these torture situations. Yep, same thing. Can't get enough. We have played some torturous games this year. Okay, good start. We got a free guy. We haven't died yet. Three houses, then the junkyard, then the graveyard, then the broken down house, then the school. Okay. By like the third house, it starts getting pretty difficult, so first two aren't too bad. That bat like flew up at me and they completely changed its pattern to make sure it hit me. Followed my jump. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Crazy. So far so good though. We still haven't died. So 
think we have like what three continues or something like that. I'm trying to remember. Oh, there's a death because I these freaking things don't stop coming. Wait, where do I go here? Just jump across this. Oh, did you see that? Went out of my way to fall all the way down there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, this game takes a lot out of you, I think. That's what, that's what we call bullshit death. The inevitable. They always happen. for more of them too. Why did that... No, oh my gosh. Okay. Next boss. <laughs> Dead immediately. He just zooms in. <laughs> Thanks, game. It's hard. You can't even predict where he's gonna, how far out he's gonna come either. And these freaking, ah, oh, dead again. Like this fight sucks. Look at all the projectiles coming at me here. Where do I even stand? Goodness me. I got one of those lives back, but it's not good. I think we have to go back this way. Another house. Yeah. So this is the third house, then we gotta go to the freaking graveyard. Yay. Or junkyards, excuse me. Hate that part. So sure about those attacks, so I don't get knocked into my death there. Okay. Oh, I need that one too. Shoot. We got all the bones already. And we're out. And this part. With the rocks. Get out of here. bat following me. Ah, shoot. Alright, I had to jump from here to get that. Okay. The last two are right here. You just duck here. Get out of there. All right. Oh, these parts are always hard for me. Dead. Dead again. Bring it on, Freddy's fist. He's trying to fist us. <laughs> Anybody seen Freddy got fingered? <laughs> it's a 
better movie. Always be like facing him and be ready to kick. You hit me. There we go. All right. Okay, now it's all the way to the junkyard. Trying to do what now? <laughs> He's trying to get fisted. Freddy's trying to fist everyone. All right. That's Freddy. I don't think we've ever made it to the school. I don't remember getting there. I think that's the final level. I'm pretty sure. We always die in this broken down house. That's like the hardest thing. So you have the junkyard, the cemetery, then the broken house, then the school. That's it. But this is where it gets really difficult and then the, the deaths are going to start piling up. Ooh, look at that dodge. Okay. Yeah, I, mean, I have a lot of sections down. Like, that part out there, like, I have the timing down on all that crap. It's like these sections where there's just bullshit, like, respawning enemies and stuff, and inevitable areas where you're gonna get hit. That's what screws me up. Like, getting hit by an enemy and then just getting knocked into a pit and dying right away is what sucks. Just like that, see? It's like you're not, you have like a few hits before you die, but when they hit you into a pit, that's an automatic kill. And it's like that happens so often in like BS deaths. Respawning enemies don't help. This is usually one of the tougher levels for me, so we'll see. He dropped through the platform to hit me. Are you kidding me? I think I gotta jump there. There we go. That's how you don't get hit there. I figured that out finally. Boom, boom, boom. Grab that. Now this jump is super hard. I gotta get this bat off my tail. Come on, go away. Go away, bat. Oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding me. No! Ugh. Okay, just go while we have the invincibility. I hate that. That jump's really tough. Very difficult. Especially when a bat's chasing you, too. have to spend it continue soon. It is what it is. Get away from me, Bat. Get away from me, Bat. Look at this crap. What the heck? What, what the... <laughs> okay, here we go. Again, we're going to be kicking. One hit dead. Alright, here's our first continue. It's a pretty tough one. What is hitting me? Does those things like randomly spawn. They can hit you at any moment. Again, there's no pattern to this, the way he flies, he just flies wherever, and you just gotta kinda... 
traject your kick the best you can. So I hate these boss fights. There's no patterns to them. They just like have like random animations that they do. And you have to like try to fight while that's going on, basically. How is he hitting me? Like I'm kicking him. The hitboxes suck. It's going freaking fast now. He keeps hitting me. And these ones keep hitting me too. Because the hitboxes, like, sometimes they hit me if they're above me, sometimes they hit me if they're below me. Like, I don't understand. Gosh. Get one life back. It's a terrible fight. Do, 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 do. Alright, now the symmetry. This is another very tricky level. I would love to not spend another continue here, but we'll see. Get that coffee, trust me. I'm gonna stay here till I actually. Actually, maybe I should get the bones before I fall asleep. I'm not sure. No way! No way! That rocks animation still killed me. Knocked me into the pit. I'm gonna stand here. Till we go to the dream state. Not that long. So that's why you don't want to get that coffee there. Because it keeps you awake here when you don't want to be. Normally, of course I'm going to take the coffee, right? <laughs> it's not like me to turn down coffee, but here's the only exception. There you go. Welcome in Pac-Man. We rolling some uh, Nightmare on Elm Street here. Gosh, I slipped off that thing. Okay, now I'm gonna switch to this. These jumps are easier as the gymnast. Escape. Bullshit deaths. So many of them. Unavoidable. Whoa. Die. Yeah. Should have known he was coming. Well, there goes our hope of not spending a continue on this level. This guy's not going to stay there the whole fight, is he? Yeah, one kill on a... I think we have one continue left, maybe two if we're lucky. is basically the same thing as the last fight only he's like can hit you easier because he's a bigger hitbox see all right there's our continue I'll be our last one
Come on, die. I got a free guy. What's the broken down house next? All right, Star June has redeemed Goosebumps. Nice. Okay, so we can read. So we did. I got three of them here. Same ones as last night. Uh, so it, let's get invisible. Let's read another excerpt from Welcome to Dead House. Shall we? I should have just stayed awake because he went to swim anyways. I know, honestly. <laughs> Wouldn't have mattered, huh? All right, Welcome to Dead House. Let's open up an early page. Let's see. I couldn't decide if that was a compliment or not. I guess it's true. Josh and I are both tall and thin. Have curly brown hair, like dads, and dark brown eyes. Everyone says we have serious faces. I really want to go home, Josh said, his voice cracking. I hate this place. My brother is the most impatient kid in the world, and when he makes up his mind about something, that's it. He's a little spoiled. At least I think so. Whenever he makes a big fuss about something, we usually he usually gets his way. We may look alike, but we're really not that similar. I'm a lot more patient than Josh is. A lot more sensible. Probably because I'm older. And because I'm a girl. There you go. Hydration. Thank you. Let's have some more of the, the, the glow, spooky glowberry prime. There we go. There we go, there we go. A little more Goosebumps for you guys. So I have other Goosebumps uh, books I can pull through, pull from, I mean, as well. For like other nights. All right, now it's this. I'm pretty sure we're on our last continue. Did we make it to the boss here? I don't remember. We didn't, did we? Is it that dragon one? Oh. If you hit me, I would have died. Do 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 do. Are you kidding me? Up there sends me all the way down there to my death. That's like. They might as well just put like. The enemies grabbing you from the pits themselves to pull you in because. As soon as you hit, you just fly into one automatically. could even see that guy off screen. What? Like, I jump and he's already there. How do I do this? Okay. Ugh. Alright. We'll probably play something else tonight for a little bit, at least. Till. After this. Because this will be the last run I do with this ten like, tonight. Easier to go back this way, I think. Ugh. Should have waited. But what? The the path killed me? You see that? That was bogus. Bullshit death. <laughs> Number five or six, whatever it's been in this run. I think that was just programmed in there. Like you probably look at the coding for this game. Somewhere in it, it probably says bullshit deaths. <laughs> what? Oh, this is not a good situation. 
I got things that can hit me every every which direction here. This bone you can only get if you're like in your regular form, I think. It's like weird. Oh no. Freddy's coming. We call it fisting. Gosh damn. Look to the right form here. Just random him jumping around, things popping up. Oh. What? I love that Ninja Star didn't do anything to that. That killed him in one hit. Okay. Yeah, this bone again, you can't get it unless you're in your regular form. Makes a whole lot of sense, doesn't it? Uh hello. Oh, I don't know why that took forever to register. Get away from me. My gosh, I was lucky. I think I'm gonna stay in the nightmare zone so I can use my other power ups. Better jumps. our last continue as well. Right, this part. Whoa. Not bad. Yep. These parts where you don't have like bats flying at you from which direction aren't too bad because you can like actually take your time, and, like strategize how to get through it. And there's like a whole bunch of crap flying around the screen, knocking you into pits. It's like impossible. Like there's pits here, so as soon as I get hit, I guarantee you that's where I'm going. Oh, really? So I should go above those. Oh no, for really? Come on, Freddy. Doing this again? Just to eat up more of my lives? I think this is our last life. Just 
just hate the unpredictability of these boss fights. Like you can't. Oh, I didn't want to get that actually. I kind of wanted to stay in the dream world because I have like a better, so better power-ups, better ability to jump. All I'm gonna do is punch. I hate the bats. Just knocked me into a pit. Thank, thank you, dude. We have another continue? I'm shocked. I thought that was it. This has to be our last continue. Well, maybe we can maybe beat this level. I don't know. Look at all those bats up there, by the way. What do I do? <laughs> Last bones over there. I think we need this platform, don't we? Damn. That's this jump really sucks here. I don't think I can There we go, I have to just time it. Okay. What is this fight? Oh it's, oh, it's the hand and the, and the I mean the uh, the face and the fist. I think I really feel like the uh, like the boss fights were like shoehorned into this game. They just like drew sprites of like parts of Freddy and just like made them like float around the screen. No pattern. We're dying left and right here. I'm gonna st this actually standing there works big time. Look at this. Somehow he hit me. See the hitboxes? So weird. I didn't do anything differently. And he, he hit me that time instead of me hitting him. There we go. Okay, now. Now is it the school? I don't even know. It is. I think this is the last level. I'm not sure though. Oh, I need to get that. Oh! oh how do I get up now? What? I just didn't jump. What do I do here? That's crazy. You can hit your head on that thing too. I'm trying to think, have I been here before? I don't know if I've been this far in the game. Maybe I have. Wow. Jeez, how are you supposed to make that jump now? Yo, this hits his head. That's it. <laughs> I had to end with a couple bullshit deaths, of course. Fittingly. Now, I don't know if we've made it that far before. Maybe we did. I'd have to watch back the episodes, but 
that might be the final like section there big dub yeah you see that really good right that's so good let's have a couple things for the hydration do I have any more of this strawberry thing left Go with some water then. Fun game, but a tough game. Damn. Like, there's just so much stuff that's gonna just inevitably kill you without control. Oh, we'll do it for Nightmare on Elm Street. We, got, we might try this again another night. They're on Zero Ween. I don't know. If I feel like playing it again, obviously we will. Uh, kind of like. At this point, ready to throw in the towel. This game, I don't, I don't think I could finish it. I tried it last year, and I just can't, just can't beat it. It's just hard. Maybe there's like tricks that I don't know that will help, but so a lot of sections you have to go through. You have to be so perfect with it because each life is like so precious because they can, you can die so fast. But thank you all for joining me on Elm Street once again during Zeroine. Hope you enjoyed.